Okay, so we're going to talk about um, conversions between grams to mole to molecule and even to an atom or amount of atoms. And we're even going to go all the way backwards in this video. So to go from grams per mole, we need a conversion that has grams and moles. That would be the molar mass, which is in grams per mole. To go from moles to molecules, we have to understand that there is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecule per mole. That is the definition of a mole. It's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd thing. So if we're talking about a molecule, a mole of that molecule would have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And then to go from molecule to atom, what we have to know how many atoms, it depends on what we're asking about, are in that molecule. And we'll be using dimensional analysis to accomplish this. So we always have to keep in mind we're going grams to moles, moles to molecules, molecules to atoms, and that is the order we have to follow in order to go from grams all the way to atoms. So let's start with a question like this, and we'll keep this handy here. In an 84.3 gram sample of phosphoric acid, determine the following. Let's go ahead and start by determining the number of mole. So Every time we have grams, we always want to turn it into number of moles. To do that, we divide by the molar mass. So we have 84.3 grams, and we divide, want to divide by the molar mass of phosphoric acid. Well, we should recognize phosphoric acid as an acid made out of phosphate. There's no hydro, so it's not binary. It has an oxygen in it. Phosphate is PO4 with a three minus charge. We're going to add H plus to it to cancel out the charges, so we need three H pluses. In other words, phosphoric acid is actually H3PO4. So I'm asking for the number of mole in there. We have 84.3 grams, and if you calculate the mass of this thing, you'll find out that it's about 97.994 grams per mole. In other words, the mass of three hydrogens, one phosphorus, and four oxygens will total 97.994 grams. So we got 84.3 grams, which is less than 97.94, so we should have less than one mole. So let's calculate it to make sure. To put grams into moles, we always divide by the molar mass. And that's just straight up dimensional analysis. Grams will cancel. We're left with moles. And our resulting answer is 0 0.860 mole. All right, so that's cool, but that's just moles. In other words, we went from grams to mole. What if I asked you to go from grams to mole to molecule? In other words, how many molecules would be in the sample? Well, to do that, we're going to start with 84.3 grams again. Always turning grams into moles because we have to go to, from grams to moles to molecules to get there. We know we're going to use the molar mass and Avogadro's number here. So we got 84.3 grams. We know that there are 97.994 grams in a mole of H3PO4. And it's important you write what you're talking about, and we'll see here in a second why that is. We know in a mole, there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. What should be your next question? But well, we're talking about H3PO4. This was the mass of H3PO4. This is the mole of H3PO4. Down here is also the mole of H3PO4. H3PO4 is a molecule. So a mole of anything has 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of those things. So if we calculate this out, we've got 84.3 divided by 97.994 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And you get an answer of 5.18 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, a little less than a mole, and that's okay, that's what we were expecting. In fact, we were expecting 86% of a mole, and that's what we got. All right, so we turned moles, we turned grams into moles, we turned grams into molecules. Next stop is atom town. I could ask about anything. I could ask about the number of hydrogens, the number of phosphorus, the number of oxygens, the number of total atoms. I'm gonna ask about the number of oxygens.
So I want to know how many oxygen atoms are in the sample. We're going to say 84.3 grams. You know that there are 97.994 grams in a mole of H3PO4. You know a mole of H3PO4 has 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of H3PO4. And now, in order to go from molecule to atom, we need this specific thing. So we have to ask ourselves, okay, in H3PO4, how many oxygen atoms are there? Well, we know in one molecule, <coughs> excuse me, that there are four oxygen atoms. So in one molecule, there's four oxygen atoms. So we're taking 84.3 divided by 97.994 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd times four, and that will give us an answer of 2.07 times 10 to the 24 oxygen atoms. All right, so that's all fun. We can go, we can do moles, molecules, atoms, no problem. What if we were to go backwards? So let's say I have a sample of phosphoric acid. And it contains 4.83 times 10 to the 23rd hydrogen atoms. And I say, what is the mass of the H3PO4? So I'm going to say I'll go from atoms to grams. In other words, I'm taking this little train and going backwards. I've got to go atoms to molecule, molecule to mole, mole to gram. So let's start with the number that we're given, 4.83 times 10 to the 23rd, H atoms. Now again, we already know that in order to go from um, atoms to grams, we have to make a stop through molecule town. So our question is how many atoms are in a molecule. Well, it's asking specifically about hydrogen atoms, and again, it's H3PO4 telling you there are three hydrogens in one molecule. So there are three hydrogen atoms for every one molecule. Now we've made it to molecule town. Now we should be pretty comfortable. We need to get to mole town. We know that there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecule in a mole. And we're almost off the train. We just have to remember that a mole of phosphoric acid, again, we're talking about H3PO4 here, that a mole of phosphoric acid has a mass of 97.994 grams. Let me write that better. That's what that says. So atoms cancel, molecules cancel, mole cancel, and we're left with grams. Calculate this out, 4.83 times 10 to the 23rd, times 97.994, divided by 3, divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and I believe you get an answer of about 26.2 grams, or 2.62 E1. Your next question should be, does that make sense? Well, here you had less than a mole. So you ought to be expecting less than a mole as your answer. And that's what you got.